All right, guys, so this is where we finished off the last time, but I also resetted our object. So the score is back to zero, and this is because of the logic that we provided on the Django side inside the views PY. Um, we are showing only the images that have a score of zero, and we are showing them in the random order. So this is very important. So right now, if we press on the stars or the next, most of the time we will see a different image okay so let's go back to our main js and over here inside the if block if one is true so if there are any images i'm going to refer to the array array and i'm going to do for each on them so we want to take in a single item and this time we are going to add to the item add event listener but with the click event okay so over here i'm just going to put in console log clicked i'm going to save this and as you can see we don't see anything in the uh, console but once i decide to press for a very short amount of time we see clicked okay maybe it will be a little bit better visible if instead of console log we would have an alert so let's refresh and there it is clicked you can play around and then clicked okay so as the next step I'm going to get rid of this alert and what we need to do is to grab the uh, ID of a star so I'm going to create a variable val and this is going to be event target ID and let's console log or let's do an alert on val alert val let's see if this is working refresh and there it is second fifth okay so right now we have our star that we clicked on and we can refer to the form and add another event listener on the form but this time the event listener will be submit submit okay and here I will pass a single event and we want to first of all write down event prevent default and as next we want to grab the image ID okay so if we take a look at our main HTML over here in the form we actually are missing one very important thing we need to add an ID and pass in object ID so this way we will know which image we are rating so if we go back to main.js over here we can create another const i'm just going to call it id but this is going to be the id of our image and over here i'm going to put in etarget id so let's actually see if this is working if the prevent default is working and the console log is uh, the console log of ID will work as well. So console log and we want to pass in ID. I'm going to save this, hit refresh, and there it is. This is the th the taxi is three. Um, okay, and if I press next, we have Andromeda. So this is two, and there is one more left the car uh, I just missed it and here is one no matter what I press it's, it's one because this is the ID of the image and then if we take a look at our ratings here we have the car so it's okay and the second one was the Andromeda Galaxy and the third one was uh, the New York taxi so hopefully this is understandable and we will also need the rating itself so let me create another const called maybe val num 
But the issue over here is that if we console log the val again, and then if we simply console, uh, and okay, we have the ID as console log. So I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. And let's compare these two. Okay, so I'm going to save this, go back. And we have, okay, um, let's just comment this out. Refresh, and I'm going to press four. So here we have fourth. So the, the stars is fourth and the ID over here is numeric. So um, the problem is that we would also like to have the rating as numeric because as mentioned before, it's, it's not numeric right now. As you can see, we have second, fifth, second, first, and this should be numeric as well. The, the, same, the same as the ID of the picture. So in order to do that, we will create another function that I'm just going to define maybe over here. And this is going to be a constant get numeric value. And this will take in a string value. And we will have a numeric value that we will operate initialized over here and then we will do some if statements so if string value is equal to first in this case we want to set the numeric value to one okay and then let's do an else if else if string value is equal to second let's set the numeric value to two and then let's do another else if and yeah i forgot about the condition sorry about this if string value is equal to third let's set the numeric value to three and then else if string value equal to fourth let's set the numeric value to four and else if string value is equal to mm, five fifth sorry fifth then we want to set the numeric value to five and in other case let's set the numeric value to zero so we will leave it as it is and then finally let's return the numeric value okay so now we have this get numeric value defined and we can simply use it over here const valnum will be equal to get numeric value and we are going to pass this val over here all right and then as the next step we are going to run ajax but before we actually get to that let's save the main js and let's go to the views and let's create a proper view for this so we need to have maybe another function view that we are going to name rate rate view or rate image and this will take in a request and over here the first thing that we are going to do is to check if the request method is equal to post request method equal to post and if this is the case we will have an element id and this is going to be request and then post get l id and we will create this in just a second 
then we will have a value so let's put in val and this is going to be again request post get and let's put in val so right now what we need to do is to get the proper object so obj rating and then objects get where the id is going to be equal to the element id and then obj score is going to be the value and finally we need to save the object and return something so let's return a json response so from django http let's import json and here i made a typo from django http json response json response let's put in success and true and then let's also put in the score and val let's return the score as value and set save is equal to false so i'm just going to explain this in just a second and then over here let's just return and if request method is not equal to post let's just set uh, a json response where we have success set to false all right so we need to do one more thing um okay i'm going to take care of this later i'm going to do one more thing and register this rate image in the url pattern so we decided to do it directly in the stars proj so over here i'm going to import this rate image and the path will be rate image and as the next step what we need to do is to pass in this rate image and we need to set a proper name so um, let's call this rate view something like this and maybe instead of rate image i'm just going to put in rate all right so let's save this and let's return to main.js and over here we will be working right now on our ajax so first of all let's define the type we know that this is going to be post and we need to set a url so we just created it just a second ago so it's going to be rate and then we will have the data and first of all let's not forget about the csrf middle where token and this is going to be csrf zero value okay we were talking about this um once we defined the constant where we keep our csrf okay so uh, we have the csrf middleware token then we are expecting an element id so if we take a look at our views py we are expecting element id which we are going to store in lid so going back to main.js let's create this element id and this is just going to be the id and then we need to pass in the val because we are also expecting to get the val from the post request and this is going to be the val num okay and then what we need to do is to define what will happen on success so here we will have a function with a response response let's console log the response and below let's refer to the confirm box inner html and here we are going to use backticks let's put an h1 and let's put in successfully um, rated with and then 
let's inject the response score okay so this is the case if everything goes all right and if it doesn't go all right let's define the error and here we will have a function with an error and let's console log the error and also let's refer to the confirm box confirm box inner html and here let's put in um maybe something also in h1 something like oops something went wrong okay so let's try it out let's see if this is working did we save our urls py yes we did so i'm going to hit refresh and there it is successfully rated with two and then we have a success uh, successfully rated with five um, so we overridden this uh, image but if we press next we, we will have a different image to rate and we have successfully rated with three so there are a couple of things at least two things that we would like to change and the first one is we should go to main html and over here let's delete the checked let's maybe leave it only for the first star or maybe let's delete it as well so there will be no uh, checked and then let's also grab this and put it inside of this call center let's save it let's hit refresh and let's try it again successfully rated with three successfully rated with five and then we still have successfully rated with five and this is a problem which we will fix in just a second um so right now we have successfully rated with two so it doesn't work just yet perfectly but if i refresh we have now no images to rate okay so what i'm going to do is to set the ratings back to zero okay and then um, let's go to main js and um, over here let's create a variable is submit and let's set it as false we need to avoid multiple ajax calls and over here below the e event prevent de default let's put in if is submit and if this is the case we want to simply return and in other case we want to set we want to continue and set is submit to true okay so let's save this and let's see if this will work so i'm going back to our page we have reset the object scores to zero so we should see three all images and let's rate three five three again two four and each time it's working properly okay and then if we decide to get another image so this is the andromeda let me rate it as five and then let me rate this car as three so we have three four five let's check it out here is our taxi cap rated as four andromeda galaxy should be rated as five and it is and then here we have three okay guys so i think this is it uh, thank you for sticking to the end i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah wish you all a great day take care and bye bye